Uh, Rolo on emotional intelligence. Try reading D. Goldman's and Byron K. Uh, write the uh, uh, mark this down for me, will you, um, Sammy? Uh, Brian's Brian Katie books. They're actually worthwhile, dude. Uh, instead of saying you're a bad person when you say it, when you said X, it made me feel it made me feel Y. Um, my my understanding of emotional intelligence is that emotional intelligence was something that was created simply by a female specific pop psychology. There needs to be, because there needed to be some sort of counterbalance to like actual cognitive, rational, like IQ type intelligence. Well, you might be smart, but you're not emotionally smart. It's like, stop making shit up. Okay. Emotional intelligence is bullshit. There is, uh, and, and I have studied quite comprehensively on this. I'm not saying you're full of shit or anything like that. I'm just saying that the concept of emotional intelligence is certainly put an asterisk by it because it's the jury's still out. Um, emotional intelligence is not intelligence. That's just it. It doesn't even meet the criteria for intelligence because emotional being emotional emotions are a physical, a physical effect on human beings. If you want to say you have uh, your your social skills are inept or you have autism or you don't understand like when somebody is emoting and you can't really you can't be empathetic or you can't be sympathetic or whatever. Maybe you're psychopathic, maybe you're sociopathic, whatever that I can that I can wrap my head around. But if you're going to say oh, emotional intelligence, no, emo I can change your emotion by giving you three shots of tequila. I can change your emotions by shooting you up with a, I don't know, a few cc's of Tren, right? You can definitely go and you'll definitely feel something. And you'll have a mood change <laughs> for sure. I'll tell you, man, I, I, and, and it's not even just it chemicals, man. It's circumstances as well. I go from feeling really good about life. And then suddenly I realize Ned's got a, a, a fracture again. And now suddenly I'm in the pit of hell. You can go from from an emotional one emotional state to the next. It's not that you have low emotional intelligence. It's that things are pretty fucked up, and then you're reacting to how those things are fucked up. So, when we talk about emotions, emotions are are a physical are, are a physical effect on the human body. So when people say, "Don't you believe in love, Rolo?" Yeah, of course I believe in love. Do I believe in it as some sort of like metaphysical, you know, angel dust and pixie dust falling down from the sky? No. Do you, don't you believe in, I believe in love just as much as I believe in hate, anger, fear, um, depression, uh, name the base, more base emotions, uh, joy, you know, how happiness. I believe in love as just as much as I believe in any of those other emotions. Okay. Now, if you want to take them into the more esoteric realms, then we can have a different conversation. But if you're going to talk to me about emotional intelligence, I'm just going to bring up the fact that you can influence somebody's just by like poking the right part of their brain in brain surgery and suddenly they go from being you know sad and crying to being like elated and joyful and, and euphoric so emotion to me is not some it's not an intelligence like intelligence is something that you, like for instance intelligence technically is a is a physical aspect too because if i go and give you a frontal lobotomy and you suddenly lose i don't know how many points of iq or you have brain damage or you have um uh, memory loss are you, have you not then just, have you not affected the individual personality and your, uh, your capacity for emotional intelligence or cognitive intelligence for that matter by altering the physical state of that brain? Yes, you have. So <laughs> did I not do a good job? Would you, would you like me to continue? <laughs> yes. Emotional intelligence is. Honestly, I, I think when, what people mistake emotional intelligence, what like they needed a term for this, like, that there are some people who just don't have the hardware or they never had the learning or they never through through a course of learning or conditioning, they never had the ability to sort of read other people's emotions. And so they're like an autistic per, an autistic child, an autistic guy, woman, whatever has difficulty reading facial expressions, has difficulty interpreting what that person is feeling. And so therefore they're kind of lost in the woods with, interrelating with somebody who is, you know, either pissed off or angry. If I say these things, this guy will get pissed off. They don't know that because they don't have the either cognitive capacity to do that, or they've never learned that well enough so that they like, depending on the degree of how far you are on whatever the autism spectrum is, you may or may not be able to read someone's emotional state by their physical expressions. Right. That doesn't make them low on emotional intelligence. It means that they're, they're fucked up. 
there's a mechanical problem there. So that's sort of my take on on emotional intelligence.